Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel today. Just to throw it out there, if you'd like to get a replay analysis done just like this for you, down below in the description, you will find a link to my Discord. You can join, you'll find a channel with explicit instructions on how to send me anything that you'd like me to take a look at for you, and we can get it up for you just like this. This one is for Asboost 30 FPS. Sorry if I kind of butchered that first part. Um, he is a gold 3 div 4. Uh, this looks like a 2v2 game, and basically the particular things he's given me in his notes is uh, positioning and decision making. He feels like his mechanical skills are on point for the rank, but the decision making and positioning are the problem for him. So we're going to take a look at that, we're going to see if I agree, if that's the issue, and kind of just give general notes along the way. So here that I don't I don't know if you're uh, no you're not cued with him so it's very good off the bat uh, to be a little bit patient in that situation your teammate should never be going for that with you and you both get a little bit fortunate that um, this guy misses right here now once this happens once you're in this position one of your opponents is recovering, the other is yet to even start recovering, and you have 12 boosts that you're picking up right now. Um, this is one that I would just keep driving right on back. Let Cafe take this ball and see what he can do with it. Good half flip clear there. And a good, very good clear off the wall. I would say, yes, your mechanics are there for this level, if not higher. So, yeah, your ball control looks pretty good on the wall there. Um, this one, you could have taken your time and gotten a little bit better hit here, but I'm sure you know that. Just swing out a little bit wider. I don't think, you probably just didn't anticipate that you were about to run out of boost. Not the biggest deal. I like that you stopped at the back post. That's very smart. And got a good clear off of it. I wouldn't have dodged forward here. I know that the team, the opponent did miss it. But the dodge forward takes you f too far forward if uh, that ball did get cleared. But you did good You did good to follow up, you know, after the whiff. All right, so this is a situation um, a lot of people have varying opinions on. I tend to be against cheating for the most part, um, and I would just go for the corner boost right away in most instances. Because like in a situation like this, you take this boost here that your teammate was going for, and now he has to track back to the corner to try to get boost when you could have gotten boost while he was going for the kickoff and then you wouldn't have had to take this boost from him and he could take this boost and support you in your attack here so in my opinion that's why i don't like cheating for the most part is i'd rather be able to leave one of those mid boosts for my teammate to grab and have them support me on the way forward but you did play this um smart after the fact uh you kind of let him take a touch and just beat him you know, once he basically passed it to you. And that shot was fantastic. So, yeah, that, that's my note about kickoffs. The kickoff was almost perfect, and you definitely won it very hard. I would say you should be boosting at this point, though. Uh, you want to boost through the dodge in most cases to win a kickoff. Alright, these are very difficult. So, in my opinion, uh, you're kind of sitting in a no man's land. You're not close enough to him to challenge him right away. And you're not far enough away to save what's about to happen reliably. So, either you need to flip away from him 
and basically just dare him to shoot this ball because you'll be in a better position to save it or challenge him immediately. And because you were in the position you were in, I would have been dodging away just so that you get yourself a little bit further head start on this ball. Your execution was not bad in general. Uh, it just was a little bit slow. It felt like you were a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, I would hop into some kind of training pack or something to help you with this. Uh, if you jumped a little bit sooner there, you could have met this ball higher. And you air rolled the proper direction. But you just didn't get quite high enough. If you had been higher on it and dodged straight instead of at a diagonal dodge, you might have pushed this out wide. Not a bad effort, though. Just some tips to perhaps make that better in the future. Smart read off the wall. And then in that case, you did leave the boost for your teammate. So the cheat was fine, in my opinion. A good half flipped control. Um... I mean this in like, this is going to sound really mean, but in the politest way possible, you're gold three pushing plat. I wouldn't be going for a ceiling shot here. Uh, especially like this is a difficult angle for a ceiling shot. I would probably miss this like a few times out of 10. So I would say go for something that is a higher percentage play more often. It's not as flashy. It's not as fun or whatever, but it, you know, a flashy goal and a weird 50-50 on the goal line that goes in, both of those count for one point. So you don't have to try to be flashy. You do very well, though, to disrupt on the way back. And here, this was a prime opportunity to really just rip this ball. You rushed yourself toward it a little bit. Um, as it starts bouncing towards you, you want to get a feel on where it's going to bounce. And meet it at that bounce to get the most power as possible. You want to hit it immediately as soon as it is done bouncing. So... You know, if you instead of rushing at it and getting a hit as fast as possible, take a little bit of that time and just really bang this ball. Could have been a, a pass to your teammate or something. And then, in my opinion, you're going way too deep with no boost here. Because now your teammate crept up because he didn't know you didn't have boost and that you were so easily going to be beaten. And now he is in a 2v1 situation that will often lead to a goal like that. Again, not bad on the kickoff. <laughs> Good pass, unfortunate miss from the teammate. And um, just kind of take a little bit to settle yourself so you get good contact on that ball you didn't have too much pressure i know it's difficult to sense what kind of time you have but at the same time if we take a look at this freeze frame we can see both opponents and we can see what kind of time you have to make this happen and you have that extra split second to adjust on a power slide a little bit more to make sure you just get good contact on this ball Uh, here, you had a lot of open net there. Um, you kind of went directly at it. And what I would say, you might not have had the sense that you had time, but if you did have the sense that you had time, you want to kind of swoop left and then back right in almost an S pattern so that you can just shoot the ball first time with power into the net instead of having to take that controlling touch that takes a little bit longer.
And then here, it felt like you're kind of rushing a little bit. The recovery, the half flip is good. And then it's like you jumped for kind of no reason. I don't know if you're going for a half flip and you didn't, or uh, <laughs> going for a wave dash and just didn't connect properly or what. But if you had wave dash here, that would have been all right. That would have took you back with a little bit more pace. But then instead of trying to dodge into this ball, I would recommend you just double jump aerial into it and kind of get a soft touch off into the corner. Because if you had just put that second jump in with no dodge, you would have softly tapped that into the corner. And I, because you dodged, you just swept right underneath it. That may have been a mechanical issue. I'm not sure, but in case it wasn't, that's just a tip. It worked out okay, but typically I wouldn't say to go for that aerial. Yeah, I was about to point this out, but I wanted to make sure your teammate was going to come. You don't want to turn again here. Because if I show you your teammate's point of view on this, and we put you in your teammate's head for a second, at this point, he's expecting you to leave. Just get behind him, get out of the way. He has 100 boots. He's ready to challenge this. But you beat him. So you want to just leave in that situation. Instead of getting that touch. So he could hit it straight middle. You leave, rotate around middle, and there's no confusion. Solid aerial to beat him. I would say in general your just like movement speed is a little bit slow. Uh, it's something you might want to work on is just try to have trails as often as possible, as often as you are comfortable playing at supersonic and just increase the amount of time you're comfortable being supersonic as early as possible and that'll be one of the biggest things that will help you rank up. That'll force you as well into situations where you need to learn how to read a little bit better to position properly for situations. And the more of that that you do, the um, the better you'll get at it and the, the higher up you'll get rank wise. Uh, here it's kind of a miscommunication. Um, it is difficult to see, but Try to, again, like I was just saying, looking at what's going to happen, opponents, teammates, everything, and try to get a general idea of what's going on. Because basically, you deciding to go for this did save a goal. You want to just let your teammate have that in that situation. He recovered, he might have just recovered faster than you expected or something, but, you know. Here, you're kind of just staring up at the ball a little bit uncomfortable I would when you take that little bit and drive backward like at this point like once you've already been in this awkward situation just keep backing up and like have your let your teammate go for it and just keep getting backward and then as it bounces off the wall flicker your ball cam a couple times go back from the ball to uh, car cam just so you can get a feel for where is that opponent? What do I need to be trying to block a shot? Can I catch this? Can do I need to get up quick and beat him, beat an opponent or something like that, and get a better idea for what is going to happen here? Because to me, that looks like more than you misreading. It looks like you're trying to get up for for a block, but the team, the opponent wasn't coming from an angle that. You wanted to block in that style so yeah just try to take every opportunity to be as aware as possible of your surroundings uh 
uh, here, instead of just kind of sitting and waiting, basically a, a rule of mine, I would say, is you almost never want to just sit and wait because from your opponent's perspective, that makes it really easy to figure out how they should 50 you in order to put it straight into the net uh, the higher up you get. So once you make up your mind that the challenge needs to happen, instead of stopping, make this a ha uh, power slide turn and challenge. Get at him as quick as you can. And you can clear that back up the field past him and have a numbers advantage situation. So yeah, in general, try not to wait uh, when you're on defense like that. If you make up your mind to go, go. This is another one uh, where you just need to leave, basically. Uh, you you have a teammate, trust that they're going to be there, trust that they're going to do what they need to do. Got lucky there wasn't another second on the clock. And I don't know if it was nerves or what, but you want to be flipping those kickoffs. That's another situation where you kind of sat and waited. It's like, once you decide, like, I need to challenge, you got to challenge. If you can't make the challenge happen, then you need to get back and shadow. Because the way that you did defend there just kind of took yourself out of the game for them. You didn't make them really do anything to beat you. And it looks like you were lagging right there. It's getting stuttery. Yeah, here I think you creeped up just a little bit too far um, and took away the option to go for a higher pass, like what your teammate ended up giving to you. I like the effort. It was really well struck. Just a little bit more practice and you can put those on the net. And there, uh, it just looks like hesitation. You, you made up your mind to go, and then you thought about it again, and then you were like, I should probably go, and then, no, I shouldn't, like back and forth, and ended up just letting them have it when there was a window there where you could have challenged. And it's like, imagine at this instance, you had jumped and boosted at this ball, you would have beat him by a mile to it. And then this counter never happens. And you don't lose. So, yeah. Um, some of my biggest notes for you would be trusting teammates. Let them take what they should be there for. Try not to like be on your way out and turn right back around and go for something in front of them. Uh, that happened a couple times here. Um, work on getting your off the ball movement speed up as high as you're comfortable with. You know, push yourself just a little bit more every game, every day. And eventually, you know, it'll be easier and you'll be faster and all that kind of stuff. And then, um, you know, with everything else, you want to be, you know, taking your time on learning reads, uh, getting into free play, um, paying attention to the relationship between your opponent's car and the ball and what they can do with it and you know reading the game in that way as well and that should all if you put all that together that should take you to the next level or two and then you know come a couple months down the road you can probably send me another one of these we can go over this again see what's going on what's going good what's going wrong anything else i would agree with you um from your initial email that the uh the positioning and decision making is the weaker portion and the mechanical skills you're a little bit stronger on so basically what that means is you just need to train those things 
crypto, you need to, you know, get into games more and actually actively think about those things. As well, by the way, thank you very much for the kind words about the series. I appreciate that. Uh, to any of you who watch this, thank you very much. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.